Let's go meet Ernie. Let's go meet Ernie. Ernesto. Dirty Ern. Little Ern. Ern. Ernest. You look like Superman. Omar. Are you Superman? Are you Superman? Come on. Cinderella mixed with the white. Mm. And then for the indica, we got some Chem 4 live sugar. Nice. Yeah. I'm about to hit this. Do we have any shoes today? I have shoes for days. Five pairs of shoes we have to do Let's go. If you actually came to work. By the way, I didn't get your live stream this morning. Yeah. Because I don't like your live like to just note that you are not in any way an official like hip hop historian. I claim to be. Aggravate, no, you didn't claim those <laughs> words. But you are so aggravated. I like going there and watch it after I wake up. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, Cool Keith and fucking Daz Dillinger and fuck it. I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like you'll sit there and you'll go through all of this fucking hip hop history and how you're like, yo bro, back in the day, we used to go down to 34th and grab the juice boxes. Then we grab the tape, we listen to it in the homeboy's Walkman. It was the fucking, yo, summer. Summer 96, yo, had purple berry bubble gum. So you say all these things. And yeah. I talked about Pude. Yeah, if I didn't get that far. I was just trying to scroll through and read the comments. <laughs> trying to see the comments that are about me and then get out. But, <laughs> fucking, uh. Oh yeah, cool Keith. Fucking this, that, and third. And you still only listen to Kodak Black. <laughs> it's like, you still, you still just listen to one dude. You talk about all this shit. I was comparing Cool Keith to Kodak Black. Stop. You missed that Stop. part. You're right. I definitely missed it. That's how Cool Keith got brought up in the first place. Uh, cool Keith is nothing like Kodak Black. I was saying that Kodak Black is nothing like Cool Keith. I don't know. I, I have my reasons. I don't. <laughs> Are you serious? I think like on a weird. Cool Keith is a genius. What are you talking about? I think that Kodak Black is also a genius. Wherever you were, go back. Brandy got in a big fight with me last night. I know. She texted me. No. Yeah. She's calling me a troll. I told her she's trolling You told her me. that she's the troll because she keeps telling you not to listen to it. Which yeah. I responded with, that's the stupidest shit I've ever fucking heard. I totally hear you being like, well no, like this, dude, well no, you're the troll. No. Because if no. you weren't trolling, then you wouldn't be telling me to stop. You're no. trolling. You're a straight fucking No, troll. because she'll want to, we'll put on a whole future album with the most repetitive choruses ever about fucking Codeine and Xanax. I put on one song about real life by Kodak Black. She's like, this is straight it's garbage. about real life. You're telling yeah. me the future is not real life. No, a lot of his is, but some of his shit is, it's no different. Like her hating on Kodak. Why not, if I was playing future, why not hate on future? Why? Because future's she, produced. Future, in his last like three albums, there's fucking context. No, like, that Hendrix album is great. Don't, don't talk to and me. Don't, the, not, don't, the, don't interject. Like, I don't want you to relate to me in any way. I'm saying is, this is amazing. future, fucking everybody that like, walks publicly a Sierra situation, like all this shit, like baby, like there's like people were involved. You know, I'm not saying that's any better. People were in it. Like, there was a story. Kodak story is like the fucking dude that hangs out at the fucking dumpster asking for change and is like, yeah, I can spit bars too. Like, sorry. It's not the yes story. Yes, it is. Especially all this new shit. Nothing new. I think everyone's trolling me. I'm nothing starting new to this. think. Dude, nothing new that's dropping is even good. The only thing that's good is the old shit. You know it. You're just a troll. We gotta get lunch. Well, let's go get lunch. Let's go. Let's go. I guess cringe would be the word nowadays that people would use for douche chills. <laughs> douche chills has now officially been changed to cringe. Yeah. I think like, the only people that say cringe are, are yeah. actually cringy. Yeah, like I, I hate the sound of the word. Just because something makes you go like this, like, ugh, yeah. doesn't mean that it's like yeah, for globally everybody. fucking defined as cringe. You know what else doesn't make sense to me? And I've never really been able to articulate it on Twitter. What's that? When people say that whole tagline, your man crush Monday or your woman crush Wednesday, when they're talking about yeah. someone else's, your MCM was standing outside. Your man crush Monday plays Fortnite. Like whatever yeah. the fuck. Like it's always like some stupid shit. Isn't that statement just like this really kind of inceptionalized weakness? You're basically saying to a, someone of the opposite sex of you, right? I would assume. Because yeah. the only reason you're talking about their man crush Monday. Yeah. So what you're basically saying is this person that you're interested in does this and this is who you like. So is it really just this silent cry for why don't you like me instead? Yeah. Like, isn't that what that means, essentially? 
Yeah, you're saying, oh, you're you you're, picked him over me. Like it's like a literal like I'm showing you that I wish I had you as my girlfriend, or I wish that I had someone because this guy who does this is a man crush Monday, and he has you. Yeah. So stop saying that shit because it makes you weak, dog. Are those the three M's? Stop talking to me. Are those the three M's with the gold little tips? I need a pair. Of You're them. a fucking 3M with the gold little tits. <laughs> oh, you want me to get you plugged up? Man, I was I saw them online. Trying to get plugged up. So Casa Bonita was something else mm, last night. You're ridiculous. Why do you do this? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just love it there. And I you love, don't love it there. Love You're just a troll. There. Have we done a vlog at Casa Bonita? <laughs> no, but we should. We should. Uh, I'll go again, dude. I ate six tacos. I, I'll do the 12 taco challenge. All you can eat beef tacos and the queso. What we didn't know is, dude, queso's included, sopapillas. There's a lot more included that you just don't ask for. You need to read the fine print. I had a feast last night. Let's go. I'm sure your toilet had a feast this morning. Yeah. It's always about some storytelling. What do y'all, what did y'all not no. get read to enough when you're going? You're through? not, you're, you didn't follow the context. I didn't bring it up. Some dude asked me, he said, who do you think is the best storytelling Ghost Ghostface Killer. Oh, I didn't even name him. He's one of my killer. favorites. It's the fucking, because you don't <laughs> no, he, Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I've listened to Fish Scale. I think, when I hear myself talk, I think genius. I think this guy is a hip hop historian. <laughs> I'm not trolling you. Cheddar bacon? Nice. This is kind of crazy how they do it. We're here. So, we'll yeah, go. so at our lunch meeting, Ern discovered that there's another dispenser he hasn't checked out. Our friend over at Robot said was the best flower. <laughs> yeah. So now Ernie is basically demanding that we go there. Yep. So. Available balance is $72.18. Broke, motherfucker! That's because I, I don't use it. You broke! I'm gonna put that on the vlog too, acting like I have $77 <laughs> to my fucking name. This is the account that I literally don't use ever. Was it? Yeah. Will be happy to assist you. Okay, it's taking everything I, in my power not to just hang it up. <laughs> It was like vape camo. Yeah, they match the garbage cans. <laughs> They're urban. Damn, are you trying to call them trash? You're trying no. to call those women trash? No. Like they? they camouflage and they blend in with the trash. Oh. Dog fight. Let me get this dog fight. No, gotcha. Are you fucking ah, kidding that's me? Fourth, that's the fourth time you drove your phone this ride. If you're out there and you're looking to move to Denver, we have ourselves a nice little house to rent here. It's for rent, and it is right next to a dispensary, so you wouldn't have to go far if you ever ran out of weed. But this place looks like it has blunts. Yep, you bet it does. I mean, they're gonna fresh have, like ones. shitty blunts. Yeah, but fresh. Oh my god, this is what the place looks like for everyone. <laughs> You're gonna get shot. Yeah, another one really looks too fresh here. That was successful. There you go. I'm gonna knock the shit out of your hand. I'm giving you a chance. They got for $1.99 peanuts in a bag, dude. Pre bag peanuts. Got them for later. I'm just chilling today. There's no way to be taking her outside. Yeah, you're ready for that park. you have another edible or two yeah ah uh, okay 
So, today, today's been kind of crazy in the shoe world, I guess. There's been a lot of news in the Adidas. Well, there's a 747 event. So, All-Star Weekend, LA, 747 event. It seems like there is a ton of shit releasing. A ton of BYW, which obviously I'm super interested in. At first, I didn't know what was going to happen with this event. I didn't really know if I was going to come. I really had no idea, but it seems like I'm going to be able to get in. It seems like I've already got a ticket. It seems like I'm going to be hooked up with a ticket. So, so um, I'm going to come to LA for that event and I'm also going to well, what I've been busy with most of the day is trying to organize future events but also organize a pop-up for LA the same weekend so I don't know the details yet I'm trying to figure it out but LA 747 event there will definitely be a pop-up somewhere at some time uh, yeah so I just gotta get to work I'm sure we'll get more news as time comes and if you want to enter there's I don't really know the exact link but on Adidas you can enter to get a ticket so it's basically just like anything else like my adidas or anything it's a sign up uh tons of byw stuff coming so uh yeah i'm super hype on byw is there how many times do you think i'm gonna say byw byw dubs boost you wear the boost you wear um, as far as drops go, we have this weekend on Sunday, actually, the hoodies from the swoosh pack coming. They're, none of these are coming in packs. The only thing that come in pack are the t-shirts. Um, but hoodies are coming in an array of colors. Black, white, gray, navy, olive, and burgundy. T-shirts also from the pack in different colors. But on Sunday, the t-shirts are really, really limited in colors. Um, black packs will restock and then hoodies are just individual. So that'll be Sunday, 10 a.m. I'll be posting pics on my Instagram and Twitter soon. Da da da. Normal stuff. Prints from the art show will be available soon. I'll keep you updated on that. Those are also super limited, but they will be available soon. Hey, this light is so weird. Uh, shoes today. I wore and was going to talk to you guys about the fifth anniversary. Ultra Boost. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Fifth anniversary Ultra Boost LTD. Looks like this. You can kind of even see the shimmer on these in this light, which is great. Cause it's always so hard to show you guys 3M. Um, so these are super sick. This, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the way. This is probably my favorite 4.0 that's released yet. Maybe even hands down like landslide at this point. Like this is like a really nice shoe. The main thing about this shoe returning we have not seen in forever the two-tone cage where you have you know one base color and then the other color making the stripes i uh, didn't really realize how much i missed it until i saw it on this shoe so uh yeah really missed that and it's the first time we've gotten it in a while and i just looking at the shoe just gives me a fuzzy feeling the fifth anniversary shoe is inspired by the original which was an energy boot energy boo an energy boost the other day i said pure boost by accident someone in the comments felt free to let me know that i was an absolute moron and i I don't know anything about shoes. Uh, so the colorway is based off that. The homage is mostly the yellow hints. Yellow on the lace tips. Uh, someone on Twitter was talking about lace swapping these with 3M laces and asking. I think it looks better with the black laces just because of that yellow lace tip just kind of like. Same yellow performance logo. This is also 3M. The stripes are not 3M. The rest of the shoe, as you can probably tell, is 3M as a mother. This thing is the most 3M that 3M gets. Black 3D printed heel cage, silver Ultra Boost branding. I showed you how to remove that yesterday. Oh, and those of you that will think I'm gonna take a paint pen and paint it back on the other ones, that, 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 would, that would never happen. I would never do that. It's got the same yellow insole with the new, with the new Boost logo. And then, yeah, it's 4.0, so it fits like, it fits like all other 4.0. I still get asked about sizing. I prefer my true size 13. Don't think it fits more like 1.0 or 2.0 or 3.0. I think that they all fit differently, but not to an extent where I need to like go crazy. Sizing down I can get away with, but I prefer 13. It's one Ultra Boost uppers get treated like software. So minor tweaks and changes just to make it a better experience for the runner. And I want to emphasize on the word runner because the Ultra Boost is the changes that are made to the Ultra Boost are functional. People often complain that they're not changing the Ultra Boost enough. I don't think that they're trying to change the Ultra Boost in, in crazy ways because it is a performance model. It's not a lifestyle shoe. We just wear it as lifestyle shoes because they're amazing. This upper is super nice. The 1.0 toe box pattern is a little more prominent, but I'm not going to lie to you and say you see it as well as you do here um, just because of that light difference. But I do really, really like this shoe. Um, and if you want to compare models, you have, I don't believe, I was racking my brain earlier. I don't think we got a 3.0 3M. Not that I can remember. So if we did, I have it, but 
I don't remember, but this is what the 2.0. If you want to compare them, 2.0 looks like here. And then this would be the 1.0. The difference is there. Just like completely different shoe looks. I mean, one and two are somewhat similar. You're black with the 3M that pops. So it's a really, really nice. I mean, again, favorite 4.0 that's released so far. Um, and then another thing about 4.0 that's interesting, and since we're talking about color and knits and patterns, Adidas Ben Harath also talked about the way that PrimeNet is constructed, which is kind of explaining some of these new colorways, kind of the experimentation that seems to be going on. So PrimeNet is made of three separate knit separate yarns individually made of three yarns so each nine different yarn, nine different strands of yarn that have opportunity to be colored differently and then those all kind of get mixed intertwined shifted around blah, 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 how that's what creates the colorway so there's a lot of interesting colorways coming out a lot of experimentation it seems like with the colorway with the upper i know a lot of people prefer the 1.0 but i'll also argue they're still making the 1.0 ultra boost every mention of mine would be when are they going to make a different pattern so um, I do really still love the Ultra Boost. I love the models that we're getting. We're getting a lot of models. It's not like it was a few years ago where 10, 12. I mean, I remember scrolling through StockX and being like, there are, I mean, it was one page. It was one page of boost. Yeah, it's just a different ball game now. They drop on February 1st, so that's in a couple of days. Everywhere, yellow torsion system as well. I believe Adidas and also other retailers, they shouldn't, I don't think they'll be too crazy hard to get. There wasn't really a rhyme or reason for it. I mean, I guess this is just a regular ultra boost, except for the 3M, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't like to complain about price. Retail's a little higher, it's 220 on these, and. You know, when something's a price, I either decide to buy it and go on or I just don't buy it. So I don't know. I don't know how to like determine value, I guess. I'm super hyped to get these. It was just kind of even like just took me back today wearing these, like the black with the yellow. Just a really great colorway. Not groundbreaking. It's not like, you know, the most amazing thing that's ever happened in footwear, but it's, it's a really like super clean, sick shoe probably my favorite 4.0 ultra boost i've probably said it 10 times so i'm still gonna get asked but yeah so far these are the one all right 3m ultra boost fifth anniversary it's been great fabulous day i'll see you guys on twitch later and i'll see you guys tomorrow what i got going on tomorrow i can't remember my schedule all right i figured it out all right <laughs> omar you ready for supper you want supper you want supper? You want supper?